How's it going everyone? My name is Gabe and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to put custom images into your Minecraft Realm or World. It's super simple and easy to do. And as you can see behind me, I have my logo right here with a subscribe button. So if this video does help you guys out, don't forget to subscribe. We are getting very close to 30,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Also, shout out to the last super thanks we got on my most recent video. It was by eman55403. And he said, I'm making a sky jump with my friends. And every single time I search up a tutorial, bro, it was you thank you so much for the two dollar super thanks and also in every video now i will be adding the most recent super thanks so if you guys ever send a super thanks then i will be able to see it and i'll put your comment in the video so again shout out to eman55403 for this two dollar super thanks but anyways let's get right into the tutorial i'll show you guys how to add these images into your minecraft realm world it's super simple and easy to do it's not all done in minecraft but it's super super easy and it literally only takes one command block if i destroy this block right here you can see the command block right under it all right so let's get right into the video okay so the first thing you want to do is go to this website called Minecraft Creator Hub. You can actually just click the first link in the description that brings you to this Minecraft Creator Hub. And this is the Particle Billboard Creator. It's super, super simple. So I'm gonna refresh this page actually so you guys can see what it looks like when it's like all new. So as you can see, it says add on name, add on description, and it has all these buttons right here. So for the add on name, you can name this whatever you want. And for this tutorial, I'm going to just do like, so I'll just put Gabe Dalla just to have my character. And you can name this whatever you want. Next, we have the add on description. I believe this is optional. So you don't have to add anything here and just for the video i probably just won't add anything but then you want to go to select image for pack icon now this is what's going to show in your resource packs like the image for it and this could be anything or you could leave this blank as well but i'm going to select an image so let me click that it's going to open your files on your computer i'm going to grab my minecraft skin right here this one and i'm going to click open and now when i look at my resource packs i will look for this logo in case i have too many and then after that you want to click add particle so click that and then it's going to be particle name and the particle size so for this video i'm going to do the particle size as two you could go as high as you want and as low as you want i think the number two means two by two blocks so like four blocks total and if you do five by five then it's 25 blocks total i'm not exactly sure but for this video i'm going to make the particle size two and the particle name is important make sure you remember exactly how you spell this and how you type it out so for me i'm going to put skin just like that all lowercase now, if you do the same thing and you put skin in all uppercase, just remember that you did that, but make sure you just know exactly how you typed it out. So again, mine for this video is going to be skin all lowercase. Next, you want to choose your file of what image you want to show in your Minecraft world. Now, before you choose an image, I highly recommend going to Canva and actually making your own image. And to do that, just go here to create design. And if you want to know the dimensions I use for this video, I'm doing a 500 by 500 design just like that. And it's pretty much under logo and you just want to click create new design. And also this website that will be in the description as well. But once you have your 500 by 500, just click create new design. It'll take you to a new page and it'll be a blank canvas. And over here on the left side, you could go to uploads and you can actually select whatever you want to put in this image. You could actually upload files and you could just do whatever you want. So I'm going to upload a file and I'm going to upload my skin. So my skin is now uploading right here, as you can see. So I'm going to click it and it'll automatically put it in here. And I forgot to mention that because I'm using Canva, the free version, I'm not able to actually get rid of my background of this image. So pretty much the background is not transparent. And the reason how I got it in my game is because I use Adobe Photoshop. And again, you don't have to use Canva, but anything you use, I would recommend using a 500 by 500 canvas but anyways i got my person inside the frame as you can see and i'm just gonna put the subscribe button like right under it just like that and now that i'm satisfied with my image i'm going to click the share button on the top right and i'm going to click download just like that and again make sure it's 500 by 500 and again if you want a transparent background you need canva pro or if you know another editing software or website then use that for a transparent background but once you have everything you like just click download and on the top right of the screen it should actually download for you as you can see it's untitled design 5 because i didn't name it but now the next thing you want to do is you want to click command r onto your pc and this file will pop up and once you have this opened up you're going to actually copy this thing that will also be in the description below it's a local app data that will automatically take you to your minecraft files so just copy this from the description and paste it right here and click ok it's going to open this and as you can see it's going to show your behavior packs your custom scans your resource packs whatever it is but the main thing you want to do is go into your resource packs just like that and once you're in here you want to get your image so to get your image into the minecraft creator hub just go to choose file go to your downloads your most recent and go to your untitled design as you can see right here and just click open and then when it shows that it's there like the name then you are okay and then after that you just want to click download and on the top right of the screen it should pop up as well i'm not sure why it's not working i think you need an ad yeah you do need an add-on description okay i lied 
Scratch that, you need an add-on description for this to download. Anyways, it should download on the top right of the screen and you can see it's gabedala.zip. Go back into your resource pack files. You wanna grab this and you wanna drag it into that file of your resource pack and it'll look like this. Then you wanna right click it. It'll say opening these files might be harmful. Just click okay. And then you wanna click extract all. And then this screen will pop up and you wanna make sure that this is the exact file location of where this resource packs is. And once you do that, just click extract and then you'll see it pop up right here. And now the file is unzipped. Then you could actually delete this and then you could actually close out your Minecraft. So as you can see right here on the bottom, I'm gonna click X on the Minecraft and it'll go away. I'm gonna open back Minecraft right here, as you can see. Once you're back in Minecraft, you can click play. You could create a new world or you could go to your already existing world. For me, I'm going to my already existing one and I'm gonna click edit. And once you're in your settings, you wanna to go to your resource packs and then you wanna to go to available and then click this own thing and click the down arrow. As you can see, it says Gabe Dalla with that logo that I put on so that you know that's the right one. You know, click active or activate, I mean. Then when you go to your active tab, you can see all the ones I have. So I have a logo one, I have the comment, and then I have my Gabe Dollar one that I just made. Then all you wanna do is click play and you'll just load into your world like normal. And you can do this with multiple different images. So again, I, that's why I have two other resource packs in here is because I have one for this and I have one for the super thanks. All right, next thing you wanna do is you wanna go into creative mode, obviously, and make sure you have like your sheets on or whatever it's called. Then you wanna give yourself a command block, do slash give at s command underscore block and you receive one. Then you wanna place your command block anywhere you want. And then you wanna go into it, click repeat unconditional always active and you want to put this command in slash particle mcch colon and after the colon is the particle name that you created or that you saved it as and mine was skin in all lowercase so just remember what you named it and then you want to do tilde tilde two tilde just like that meaning that this particle is going to spawn two blocks above the command block and now when you exit out of it it should show up my logo Boom, just like that. And the reason why I have these ones underground is because of this reason. I don't want my command block to be in the way. So you could actually just push this and make it go a couple blocks underground. So if you don't like that it's in the ground, you can actually go into the command block and change this to like five, let's say five blocks up. Maybe I don't like five, I'm gonna do four. Let's see how low that goes. There you go, four is pretty good. And then you just cover it back up and boom, you now have your logo or whatever image you have into your Minecraft realm or world. It's the one I made in Canva with my character. Subscribe on the bottom, which is really cool. But anyways, that was the video. And if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Again, this was super easy. And if you have any comments or concerns or any questions, leave them down in the comments below. But yeah, that's how you get custom images into your game of Minecraft. And again, if this video helped you guys out, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But yeah, before I go, YouTube is recommending this video to you guys from my channel. So definitely go check it out. It might be very, very good. But anyways, hopefully you guys all have a great day. My name is Gabe and I'm out. Peace.